Sanbonani. This is Caesar from Caesar Photography, and welcome back to our channel. So, as the title says, uh, today we're going to be talking about the best AI tools for content creators, photographers, videographers, and the likes. So, um, the reason for this video mainly is because um, I shoot a lot and I edit a lot. So, I spend a lot of time in the editing room, editing videos, whether it's weddings or commercials or anything. So, it takes me a lot of time, whether it's photos or videos. So, I know with weddings, it can take me days, you know, to edit a wedding so now with ai um it can take care of some of the heavy lifting so it can improve my workflow and make it faster so that's why i thought maybe i can share some of the tools that can improve your workflow but furthermore if ai can take some of the tasks from me that are repetitive then i can focus on the business i can look for more clients you know and just focus on how the final look of the video can be and just also just sip some macaritas i don't know in dubai or something or some island <laughs> Okay, before we get started, uh, please do like this video, comment and share your thoughts. Also, please do subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow the channel so you guys can help me share it in your social media if you can. And yeah, let's grow. More content is coming as I've promised. So yeah, something I want to leave you with, um, just a quote or something like that. It goes like, AI won't replace human beings, but humans who use AI. Eh? Eh? Yeah. Think about that. <laughs> Yo, yeah. The first thing I want to start with is AI in general, especially in South Africa. So we know South Africa is normally behind when it comes to tech. Some people are claiming that we're still in the beginning phase of the fourth industrial revolution but i think we're getting there and i know our government has a lot of initiatives like in tmb which is trying to capitalize on ai opportunities so yeah if it wasn't for the corruption i believe we could have been far as a country but i don't want to get too political um because it's so sure yeah but yeah so in south africa i'm just curious to the photographers videographers content creators please comment and let me know if there are any ai tools that you are already incorporating in your workflows whether it's editing or coming up with the content or posting the content so i'm really interested to see how south africans are using ai i'm going to be sharing about five tools that i think are the best ai tools as a content creator that you can use and integrate into your workflow so let's get started. The first tool is obviously the industry standard. They've been there for a while. They've been playing around. And yeah, we, we can't take that away from them. And that is Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom. So powered by Adobe Sensei, they call it. Sensei, I know it comes from karate, you know. So if I'm like your sensei, you know, you look up to me. Yeah, that vibe. So Photoshop has quite a number of features, especially in 2024 Photoshop that came that are really powerful and are very AI driven. So the first one is generative fill. So generative fill will um, replace basically and modify the, the picture that you are currently working on using text. So you'll type, let's say, take this background of me and put it, put me in some nice island. Actually, I know I'm talking a lot about the island, maybe I need a vacation. But yeah, then it can just replace my background and then put it, put me in some island. And it, it's, it's quite accurate, actually. I was really impressed with how it works. So yeah, so Photoshop is not playing around. With generative fill, also it has generative background, which is quite similar to that. So it can remove the background and manipulate it the way you want. Previously, you'll have to keyframe yourself and then take the picture out, cut it, and then take another one of the background, put it there, and then blend the two pictures together. So that was quite a process which will take you hours to do. So with this generative feel and background, it's just a click of a button and you do it. So that can definitely improve uh, a content creator's workflow. The last one when it comes to Photoshop AI tools is neural filters. So neural filters... Um, manipulates and modifies the pixels of a picture. So let's say I have a picture where I'm really serious. Um, it can look at the picture and then I can tell it to maybe, let's say, up my cheeks a bit so that I can smile slightly. Then when I'm looking like this, I can have a, a bit of a smile. So neural filters can do that, which is quite a powerful thing for manipulation. And the way it does it is quite accurate because um, it, it doesn't go too much out. So it tries to blend uh, the tone of the picture and everything like that, So which is quite powerful, hey? But unfortunately, on the downside, Photoshop is very expensive. So I know in a year, um, you could spend around 6,000. 
And Tinem Zanti, for us, that's a lot of money. So I know I'm a photographer, but hey, you guys, I wonder if you put a real 6K or ni, you know, I'm going to show you. But yeah, if you're using genuine products, so you'd have paid 6K a year, and that's about 303. 303 US dollars, I think, so in rents, so which is quite pricey for a software. But I mean, it is an investment, so it depends. Do you crack it or do you buy the, the full one? So, But obviously, the AI features, they don't work with the crack versions. I know people who complain, we just know. If someone starts complaining, oh, you're using the crack one. So don't crack, gents, buy the genuine stuff. Okay, enough about Photoshop and Lightroom. The second tool is Sora. So Sora is more for videographer for videographers. So it is a text to video type of model. So you just type text and then it can generate videos. And Sora, I don't know if it's available in public because of what people may do, you know. There are some sick people out there who can do bad stuff with this tool. So I don't know if it's open in public. I'll verify when I'm editing. So yeah, with Sora, you just type the text, let's say, create uh, a video of a man wearing a black beanie and a white t-shirt um, who's in a podcast studio at home. And then, yeah, it creates me as I'm talking to you. And then you can say, put that man, let's say, in, in a city somewhere walking um, in a busy city. And then it can try and create that. Although it's not perfect, you know, some of the, especially the hands would be softer and not like a real hand, but it tries to, to get it in, in high quality and as close as possible to what you've described. So the trick with it is just be as descriptive as possible. Yeah. So it's quite a powerful tool because it's very realistic. Uh, some of the videos I've seen, someone who doesn't know, especially who's not a a professional videographer they'll never see that video is created by ai but yeah um it's improving and fast improving and then the third tool is opus clip and get munch so those are two different tools but they do the same thing so i've decided to just put them together as number three so this tool they talk long format videos like this video that i'm doing now and then they can chop it into viral short clips, let's say 30 seconds videos that you can post on TikTok, on Instagram and so on. And with GetMunch, I know that it can kind of analyze the video and then check the, the, most the most interesting parts that are engaging and then make the content from that. And furthermore, it can generate captions and put them for you as part of the short clip video, which saves a lot of time from editing. So I think that is quite useful. So I know with GetMunch as well, like this video is, is horizontal right now. So it's a full 4K video. Mm -hmm. So it can crop me and put me in the middle and make a vertical video, which is can be for mobile format. So... And that's just a click of a button. So that is quite powerful um, for this tool. So that's Opus Clip and Get Munch. Um, I'll share the links below in the description. Okay, moving right along. The fourth tool. The fourth tool, almost similar to the previous one, but slightly different, is Autopod. I know it's a great with uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and other tools. So with, with Autopod AI... Um, you can put it as a plugin in your editing software. So when you click the button, let's say you put this podcast video that I'm doing now, and let's say there's another person with me, three cameras. So Autopod can cut that for me. And when I'm the active speaker, it focuses on me and then changes also to the wide view and then also changes to the other speaker. Let's say the other person is speaking. So I think that's quite useful and saves a lot of, lot of time in editing. Um, and it just does it in a matter of, of minutes, so which is quite interesting. So furthermore, that's that's the, it can do multiple cameras, you know, so you don't have to switch between different cameras. You just put all your clips, it's going to do the multi-cam switch for you. Yep. Yeah, so this tool is quite insane, hey? So also it, it'll mesh the audio and try and cut the sections that you don't need in the audio, which is quite powerful. And yeah, I think this tool in terms of cost, it costs about 500 a month when you subscribe to it. That's about 29 US dollars. So yeah, um, for to invest in it and, and the, the benefit that it provides, I think that's quite um, uh, reasonable. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll. Yeah, so the fifth tool, which is 
in my opinion, is the best tool. It's the mother of most of this tool. It paved the way. And that is ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is not really, um, I wouldn't say it's just content creators. It's everyone in the world. But content creators are benefiting big time from it. Hence, that's why it's in my list. ChatGPT, as we know, is a natural language um, that you can interact with. And it you prompt and type text. And it's going to give responses that are intuitive so it can give context as well to what you're doing it can solve a lot of your problems so yeah and i remember when ChatGPT was launched on the first day or first week um it already had a million um viewers or users so and the website actually crashed so that's how popular the tool was and since then i think it was in 2022 it has grown so much and it has given birth to many other tools so and i know with chat gpt a lot of graduates owe their degrees their diplomas masters and so on to chat gpt because here in Espanisa, so people use it a lot and they do their research with it i know corporates they can they do some brainstorming with it. Students are solving their problems using it. Coders and programmers, you know, computer people are writing, taking code snippets from it, are getting help from it to solve problems, math problems, engineering, and so on. And then coming back to content creators. So mostly they use it to just brainstorm some content ideas, what what popular content is out there. Some content creators use chat GPT for that. So I know some filmmakers, some scripts or script sections, they can they put it to chat GPT and get some ideas, short films, documentaries, it can generate a script for you and you modify it. I know some musicians, they've written songs from chat GPT. So chat GPT has changed the game since, man. So that's why for me, it's the best tool in, in my list currently. So with chat GPT, um, also developed by OpenAI, there's DALI. So I know with DALI, um, you need ChatGPT Plus to be able to use it, but also it's also a text to video type of model or text to image model. So where you put the text and it can create the realistic picture for you. And DALI is quite versatile and high quality. So yeah, it can help a lot of content creators out there with some thumbnails that they need. So yeah, those are my five and I won't leave you hanging. I'll give you a bonus, which is my number six. Um, that's mainly for graphic designers. And that tool is Mid Journey. So with Mid Journey, it's not really for the traditional graphic designers, you know, who studied and yeah, but um, for the lazy graphic designer or the AI driven graphic designer, it can, you can put the text as well and it can create some graphics or even take your picture and turn it into graphics and nice looking graphics and things like that, which are quite useful for thumbnails, for different other things, posters and so on. So yeah, it's another powerful tool. And yeah, so those are my best AI tools, particularly targeted to photographers, videographers, and mainly content creators. And obviously there's a tons and tons of AI tools that I didn't mention that are useful. And there's also the smaller ones which are doing certain tasks, like if I wanna denoise a picture or in audio if i want to denoise the background there's tons of other ai tools that that are out there so please do comment and tell me which tools you use the most that you find useful please share with me and south africans please let me know if you've jumped on some of the ai tools and integrated them to your workflow um, i'm really curious to see how as a country we are jumping into this because i've recently started and i'm trying to improve my workflows and save time so that i can spend with my family you know with that said, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video and sticking through up until this point. I hope you found it really useful. And please, as mentioned earlier, do subscribe to the channel. Let's grow it. And please do like this video, comment, let's engage. I'll also post some clips in social media. So let us talk. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Peace. Cheers, guys.